This is the house that Hal Johnson built about 10 years ago in Medford. It's just like thousands of other suburban houses, but it's home and a happy one to Alan Johnson and Harold Jr. and little Barbara Ann and Hal Johnson, the Lord and Master. It doesn't just happen to be a happy home. It's that way because Hal, like the average American parent, works hard to keep it so. He's careful about the health of his children and of the old man's too. It's not smart to have the breadwinner come down sick. And he's cautious about people getting hurt. Women will do the darndest things. A man has to lay down the law sometimes. But it's that growing boy that really keeps him hopping. Of course, you have to give a boy knives and tools, but you don't want him to cut an arm off. That knife is for fun, son, but you have to respect it. Always carve away from you. It's dangerous unless used properly. He's considerate of his fellow man, too. That's the way he was brought up. Give the other fellow a break. Live and let live. Hal plans for the future to the best of his ability. It takes some juggling of the figures to stretch the family budget for the most and wisest protection. And he may have to sacrifice some very desirable things. But even if he's not around to see it, his wife and kids will have security and education. But don't think that being a careful family man and a conscientious citizen keep Hal from having a good time. He's a crack shot, you know, and never fails to bring down his quota in season. And in keeping with his usual attitude toward things, his hunting manners are very good. His gun is always aimed where somebody isn't. Where there's a chance of a misfire, he eliminates that chance. A shotgun can be dangerous. If you're going to enjoy it and live, you have to respect it. Even though I've been building him up, I don't think Hal Johnson is a very unusual sort of a guy. He's just, well, the average American citizen and family man, the kind that are the backbone of the nation. I admire him and like him. I like his attitude. Until, that is, he gets behind the wheel of an automobile. At that point, he changes. He changes from a careful, considerate citizen to a menace.
It's a deadly weapon, far more deadly on the record than any gun. And yet, like a gun, if you want to use it, enjoy it, live and let live, you've got to respect that weapon under your hands. Driving laws are made to help you keep your...